I've had a fringe cut in and I'm like, I'm not quite sure how to style it, but <laughs> I think we'll just keep sweeping it over. There we go. Hey guys, how you doing? Welcome back to my channel. My name's Kate Arnell. I hope you're well. So for today's video, I wanted to sit down and show you guys some of the clothing brands that I've really enjoyed wearing lately. I've kind of had to start over with the majority of the clothing that I have. Basically, ever since pregnancy, well obviously during pregnancy, most of my clothes didn't fit me, but then after pregnancy, I haven't kind of gone back to anything close to what I was before. Some tops still fit, um, but the majority of things just can't, I can't even wear anymore. So I've either had to um, sell them or donate them. And there's one or two items I'm keeping for like, just in case, but <laughs> we'll see. And that includes things like shoes as well. So I've had to start over with my shoes because during pregnancy, my feet grew by two shoe sizes and then sort of settled down by being like one size bigger than they were pre-pregnancy. I also think a lot of the clothes that I used to wear just aren't my style now. Not that I really have much style right now. It's more of a comfort level thing. But basically a lot of the clothing that I used to wear just wouldn't feel like me now. I want my clothing to be comfortable, durable, have maybe a little bit of playfulness to them. I mostly look for natural materials in clothing, so things that are made from like organic cotton, linen, um, wool. I love wool and you will probably see a heck of a lot of wool <laughs> in this lineup. There are just some amazing, amazing properties to wool, like it's thermoregulating, it's moisture wicking, it's antimicrobial, it um, doesn't need washing as often, and it's completely biodegradable. And if the wool comes from a regenerative farm, even better. Wool is actually the most recycled fiber type. Also, wool is a great alternative to synthetic material, especially things like athletic wear and sportswear that's kind of the same thing, but basically it has a lot of the same properties that synthetics are trying to recreate, but it doesn't have any microplastics shedding into our waterways and eventually our oceans. And also just saying that 35% of microplastics in marine environments are fibers from synthetic clothing. I also found out last summer that merino wool is UV resistant, which makes it great for wearing in the summer. And I'll talk a little bit about that in this video, but yeah, I've been wearing wool throughout most of the summer <laughs> comfortably. And I've even been wearing it to swim in, which I'll also tell you about in a little bit. So here are the pieces that I've been wearing the most recently. Obviously I'm not encouraging you to go out and spend lots of money on clothing. So let's cut to the catwalk. So the first brand I wanna tell you guys about is Sheep ink. Now they have been on my radar for a little while and then they reached out and asked if they could send me some clothing to wear in my videos and I was like yes, yes please. <laughs> so this is actually one of their jumpers, it's the first piece they sent me. I really love the kind of colour blocking vibe. It's super soft, it's made from merino wool that comes from regen regen regenerative farms <laughs> in New Zealand. So they source all of their wool from ZQ or ZQ certified merino wool. They work with farmers who are committed to ethical wool production, environmental care and social responsibility, which goes all the way from regenerative land management to care of the sheep and the quality of the fiber as well. They are super soft. I would say it feels like closer to cashmere or like super soft alpaca than wool. Merino wool is just super soft and really comfortable to wear. And I also love that I don't have to wash it as much because <laughs> the fewer laundry days there are in this house, the better. And they also sent me some pieces from their Summer of Wool collection. I find it really interesting and quite exciting to see summer pieces made from wool. I think we're so used to just associating wool with being like a cozy knitwear, autumn winter sort of material, but actually it's great for the rest of the year as well. Um, and I think we can start using it in more innovative ways. Uh, and again, I'll talk about some of the brands that are doing that in this video. So I chose this navy blue uh, wool t-shirt. I really like the kind of slouchy boxy shape to it and it has like slightly longer sleeves. Um, I've worn this loads. Um, I'm wearing it here with the shorts from the Summer of Wool collection. All sheep ink pieces come with a a little connected dot attached to them. So what you have to do is scan the dot uh, with a QR code on your smartphone and you can basically meet your sheet. Quite a nice fun way to kind of get people just even thinking about where their clothing comes from and like how it's made. So I didn't really know if wool shorts would actually work on a hot summer's day, like would they feel comfortable? Um, I have found that these 
do feel comfortable on a hot summer's day. Um, I guess it depends on what sort of climate you live in. But here in Cornwall, we do get a little bit of a sea breeze, but yeah, generally I found them really comfortable to wear. This yellow hoodie is also from Sheep Ink as well. I love this hoodie. <laughs> Sheep Ink also kindly sent me these like lounge pants. They are so comfortable and I wear them pretty much every day. They're my house trouser. They're warm and cozy and soft and they feel really luxurious. They actually look like just super high quality and I love just putting those on. <laughs> <laughs> every morning and wearing them for most of the day. My husband was really impressed with the quality of the sheep ink stuff. So he actually went ahead and bought himself a hoodie. Uh, so he got this navy hoodie, which he loves wearing. Another awesome thing about sheep ink is that they have a free repair service. So if any of the clothes get any like holes in them or need repairing for whatever reason, then you can just simply send it back to their sweater clinic and they will help repair it for you, which is lovely. I love it when a brand sort of like follows through on like, aftercare. And another brand that offers repairs that I absolutely love is Nudie Jeans. And these jeans I've had for, I wanna say over a year now, and I pretty much wear them most days. You can also give any jeans you no longer wear or that no longer fit you, or maybe they're too worn out, you can give them back to Nudie and they will use that material to make new items or if they're in good enough condition, they'll just like refurbish them a bit and you can buy secondhand organic cotton jeans from them as well. So they're a really exciting company. I've raved about Nudie loads in the past, but yeah, I wear my Nudie jeans loads to the point where I actually do need to get the zip fixed slightly because <laughs> I'm currently using a little piece of string to hold it up a little bit. Um, but when we next go up to London, I'm gonna take them into the Nudie shop there and drop them off and get them repaired. And I'm actually wearing them here with this t-shirt which is from Allbirds. Now Allbirds again are another sort of exciting company I think especially in terms of their innovative use of materials especially natural materials like wool. So this white t-shirt is made from a blend of tensile and merino wool and it's super soft. It's much more like lightweight compared to the sheep ink one so it was nice to have a bit of variety when it comes to my wool t-shirts. Uh, again, it doesn't need to be washed as often because it's made from wool. They actually sent me this pink one for free um, to feature in a video and I liked it so much that I ended up buying the white version as well because I love a white t-shirt. <laughs> very lightweight, super comfortable, very easy to wear with lots of different things. Um, I'm very much like a t-shirt and jeans type of person. I've actually been buying Allbirds shoes for a couple of years now. So when um, I realized that my feet had grown an entire shoe size um, after pregnancy, it was time to get some new shoes. So I bought these like super comfy slip-ons from Allbirds. I love the gray color. They're, so, they're honestly the most comfortable shoe I've ever worn and I wear them, I'd say pretty much every day. I wear them through the summer, through the winter, autumn, spring all the time. I love them. Sometimes I wear them just around the house as like a comfy house shoe. <laughs> and I've even worn them on country walks through Cornwall, which is probably not what they're designed for, but they seem to have held up really well. Do I sleep in them? It may have happened once or twice. I like that they're sort of comfy and casual, but they look ever so slightly smart. And I realized that recently I don't really have any like sports shoes or anything. Not that I really like do a lot of sport. If I want to go on, you know, a good long walk and I don't want to wear a hiking boot, um, maybe a trainer would be a good idea. So I actually decided to buy some Allbirds trainers. They're called the Mizzles, I think. So Allbirds have really pioneered the use of different materials, things like wool in the footwear industry. And they've also developed things like eco-friendly, um, plant-based foam. All of the merino wool that all birds use is also ZQ, ZQ certified. They have a sweet foam midsole made with sugarcane based EVA. They have FSC certified natural rubber outsoles and they have an insole made from castor bean oil. I think I also read somewhere that all birds are sort of sharing all of their materials knowledge with other brands, some like leading names in the footwear industry so that they can help others use more sustainable materials, which I think is a pretty good thing. And a quick side note is that my husband has been wearing Allbirds underwear for about a year now. Not the same piece, obviously. <laughs> but yeah, he's now a big fan of Allbirds undies, which are also made from merino wool and tensile. And when I was buying the wool dasher mizzles, I spotted small birds and guys, you know I love a pun. So I clicked it and it turns out that all birds do 
a kid's shoe. And my son <laughs> loves these shoes. He's basically worn them every day since we've got them, unless we've needed to give them a quick wash. And he keeps raving about how comfy they are. He just puts them on first thing in the morning and wears them around the house sometimes. He looks so chuffed whenever he's got them on and they've just been a really lovely, versatile shoe. I initially thought, ooh, they've got laces that might be a bit tricky. They're actually like pull-on shoes. So he loves that he can pull them on all by himself. And yeah, they're super cute. We have had to wash them a couple of times because they've basically been through every terrain possible. Here he is wearing them at the local donkey sanctuary. So I'm thinking about getting another pair because he does love wearing them so much. Uh, it would be good to have some to like alternate between. I do have hiking boots, walking boots that are from Vivo Barefoot and I love them as a brand as well. You can basically return your shoes to them once you've finished wearing them and they will repair them and resell them through their like sister site called Revivo.com, I think, Revivo, Revivo. <laughs> and I need to do that with some of Arthur's shoes because he's been wearing his Vivo Barefoots for a while and has outgrown a couple of them. So I need to return those to them so that they can refurbish them and resell them. That's quite an exciting company. I just wanted to quickly tell you guys about. You might have just noticed in that clip where I'm holding up my new trainers from Allbirds that I'm wearing some, what would you call it? Sportswear? athletic wear. Well, guess what? That's also made from wool. The brand is called Dilling. Uh, I've been buying a lot of their pieces for the last couple of years. I buy a lot of Arthur's clothing, especially his wool clothing from Dilling because they are a lovely brand. Uh, most of their wool pieces are made using organic wool. So he has this really like beautiful fleece uh, jumper that he wears again, pretty much every day. It's super lightweight, but you can tell it's super warm as well. Merino wool actually works really well for active wear because it's breathable and it has a bit of natural stretch to it. I also bought a couple of pieces from Dilling that I thought would work as swimwear for Arthur. So as I mentioned earlier, Merino wool is actually great for sun protection, but it's also brilliant for swimming in. And it turns out that before synthetic materials, a lot of swimwear was made from wool. And merino wool in particular is just brilliant. So I found these little uh, organic merino wool boxer shorts from Dilling that Arthur's worn uh, for like swimming in. He also wears them as like underwear because they are general underwear. And I also found this like little one piece play suit, again, made from merino wool that he's been using to like, I wouldn't say swim, because we're not there yet, but splashing around in in the sea. And he's even worn it in the swimming pool as well. The Dilling pieces aren't actually like sold as swimwear, but I was really struggling to find non-synthetic swimwear for kids. Since then, I have actually found loads of other ones that make swimwear using like organic cotton, but I bought this little merino wool one piece uh, for him to swim in last year, I think. So before I knew about any of these other brands. But I have also been a complete convert to merino wool swimwear and found an amazing brand called Swim. And they make bikinis and one pieces from merino wool. So I have a black bikini, which I bought last year and loved it. And then I figured I wanted a bit of like tummy coverage as well because <laughs> it does get quite chilly in the sea. It's quite nice just to have a little layer of something there. So I actually reached out to Swim and said, hey, would you fancy sending me one of your swimsuits? And I'd love to feature it in a video. So I've been wearing my Swim Merino wool swimsuit every time I've been swimming. It's not shedding any synthetic microfibers into the ocean whilst I'm splashing around. It's really nice to swim in, like genuinely it feels like an upgrade, not a compromise. All of the swim swimwear is uh, fully lined with the same merino wool fabric, so it doesn't feel like it goes like transparent. It's really comfortable to wear in the water and it dries pretty quickly when it comes out of the water as well, so it doesn't feel like cold and clingy a bit like synthetics do. It actually feels <laughs> really comfortable to the point where I've just like left it on and then put my clothes back on over the top of it once it's dried enough. I'm yet to find some merino wool board shorts for my husband. I think Swim, the brand that I bought my swimsuit and my bikini from, are gonna be expanding their range to include pieces that, such as like board shorts and swimwear for kids as well. So, I'll keep checking back on them. But yeah, a really lovely brand. They're based in Australia. All of the swim swimwear is made from high quality, responsibly sourced merino wool, uh, which is RWS accredited. And that stands for Responsible Wool Standards. And it's all knitted by an Ethical Clothing Australia accredited uh, textile mill. All of the swim swimwear pieces come uh, in recyclable, 
compostable packaging so there wasn't any plastic. And whilst I'm talking about swimwear, I thought I may as well show you this other uh, swimsuit that I've got from Natasha Tonic, which is made from a blend of organic cotton and hemp. And hemp is another awesome material, especially when it comes to swimwear because it has UV resistant properties, so it can help protect your skin from um, UV rays. Uh, it dries really quickly and yeah, it's just been really lovely to swim in. Natasha Tonic makes all of her pieces from natural materials, so hemp and organic cotton, uh, and you can get two pieces, like bikinis, or you can get like one pieces like I'm wearing here. I'd say that it's even nice enough to wear as a top. I haven't been brave enough to wear it as a top just yet, but I thought I'd try and see what it looked like with my jeans, and I think it looks pretty good. And a bit like merino wool, hemp also has like UV protection properties. It dries really quickly again after swimming and it's just super comfy to wear. Like honestly, I'm like with these materials, do we really need synthetic swimwear? I've put together a blog post featuring a whole bunch of swimwear made from natural materials. So yeah, check that out. I'll link it in the info box below. Hello, I just thought I'd hop on here real quick to remind you guys about Bottle Cup. This is a product that my husband and I came up with the idea for many years ago and then we had it designed and finally it's been made. And it's a reusable water bottle and takeaway coffee cup in one. This cup is quite unique because in this chamber at the bottom here you have the lid which you can pull out, pop on top and enjoy it just as you would a regular disposable takeaway coffee cup, except this is reusable and there's no plastic. The whole thing is plastic free. When you're done, simply put the lid back in the base and reunite bottle and cup. And the silicone band is actually really useful. Not only does it add a pop of color and make a handy grip point, but it actually stops any dregs that might have been left in this cup from leaking out. Dare I say, we've pretty much thought of every little detail. <laughs> I'll link a video in the info box below where my husband goes through all of the details because he's much more of a details guy. I'll also leave a link to the main website where you can learn all about the different spec of Bottle Cup and find all the different colors that you can mix and match. It is 100% plastic free. We've designed it to help people carry less because we know it's inconvenient carrying lots of different reusables um, and to also help people reuse more because you're way more likely to actually use your reusable when it's with you all the time instead of sitting gathering dust in the cupboard at home. Thank you if you've already bought a bottle cup and left us a review. We've been reading them recently and my goodness me, it seems to be very, very well received, <laughs> which is so nice. You guys really like it. So thank you for leaving a review and I'm so pleased it's actually helping you remember to bring your reusable cup with you. So there you go, that's Bottle Cup. I'll let you get back to the video. These shorts are made from linen and they're from a lovely brand called Lowey. <laughs> Looking at Arthur in the background, he looks so fed up with me. Trying on clothes. They've got some really lovely pieces. I would love to get one of their jumpigans, which looks like quite a versatile piece of knitwear. So it's like a jumper with buttons down the back, which you can turn around and wear it as a cardigan. And again, you can get it repaired if you ever need to. This top, it's like a little slogan sweater. It says Les Poèmes du Futur on it. It's made from organic cotton. It's from Cézanne, which, I mean, it looks like a lovely brand. I don't know that much about them, but I liked that this was made from organic cotton and I knew I'd get loads of wear out of it. What I do know is that Cézanne are B Corp certified, which is a good thing. I'll put a link to that in the info box below if you want to geek out on what that really, really means. But it basically means that they've met high standards for things like working conditions, uh, use of materials, environmental standards, that sort of stuff. Now these white wide leg jeans are made from organic cotton and they are from People Tree. Now People Tree is one of the first like sustainable brands that I ever bought from. All of their collection is made using natural materials such as organic cotton, organic wool and tensile. So I've loved wearing these organic cotton white jeans. I do love white jeans. I would love to get some more. I did have a pair of like slim fitting ones. I just don't know what I've done with them. <laughs> I've either like left them in London when we went to stay with family or I've just put them somewhere in this house and just can't figure out where I've put them. I also reached out to People Tree to see if they could send me a couple of pieces. So they sent me this blue organic cotton ditzy floral print top with some ruffles on it. It is such a nice top. I love the color. I love the print. 
And here I am wearing the Finisterre organic cotton like knit top. Finisterre is a lovely Cornish brand that makes a lot of sustainable clothing using natural materials like organic cotton, wool, hemp, and even Ulex for wetsuits, which is a like natural purified latex um, rubber that can be used in, instead of neoprene, which is just very interesting. They also offer a repair service for their clothing and they have a trade-in option as well. So you can trade in your old Finisterre pieces, which they'll uh, repair and resell or recycle. This jumper is made from organic cotton. It's actually a sample uh, that I made. So um, I use a service called T-Mill which allows you to like design your own clothing. So things like t-shirts, um, jumpers, hoodies, uh, and various other bits and bobs. They are only printed to order in a solar powered factory on the Isle of Wight. It's all organic cotton and they're closed loop as well. So you can send all the pieces back once they're at the end of their life where you don't have to wear it anymore um, and they will get recycled into new items. And this jumper is actually made from recycled organic cotton, <laughs> which is very cool. And then I just put like a little mama bear drawing on it, which I made. The service, I think that's what you'd call it, um, is called T mill it's really intuitive and just easy to use if you want to design your own t-shirts or any other garments then it would be a good thing to check out i'll link it in the info box below and you can learn all about it and finally is this cashmere jumper it's from a brand called chinti and parker they make really lovely cashmere pieces i just love the fun like flower print on this i don't know why it reminds me of something i can't think what but maybe it's like a jumper my mom had <laughs> when i was growing up i'm not sure but yeah, I just love wearing this. It's super soft and they actually prioritize the use of like responsibly sourced natural yarns. Uh, so things like cashmere wool and cotton. I think I have an organic cotton t-shirt from them as well, which I love wearing. I've worn this jumper loads and I know I'll keep wearing it. My battery's about to run out. So I better say cheery bye. As always, links for everything will be in the info box below and thanks so much for watching. Bye.